you can't really argue with success. Kumisan, hindi naman ano yan eh, hindi naman, uh, wala namang perfect uh, anecdote for success pagdating sa, ano, pagdating sa coaching. Walang blueprint na perfect pagdating sa coaching. Kanyang-kanyang style ng mga coaches, kanyang-kanyang approach sa mga coaches. But, final barometer dyan is, are you willing? If you're willing, then, sabi nga nila, why change uh, something that, that ain't broke? Kuminsan, mapapaglaro yung tadhana in the sense na nakalain mo bang magkaka-COVID si, ano, di ba, magkaka-COVID si Coach Leo at pagkatapos niya mag-COVID ba, he was away. Malalalo ng, ano, di ba, ano, madikit kung si uh, George Gallen, di ba? After a while, when Coach Leo was already healthy, biglang nag-resign siya Miguel na, oh, why don't we see where uh, Coach George can take this uh, hot streak and go from there, di ba? Although, binalik yung Coach Leo event, we can see na bigla nagka-doubt doon sa tenure ni Coach Leo and I think that is what happened. Diba? Parang nagsasabi bigla, what if? Diba? Bigla nagka-what if when in fact, after winning the Philippine Cup, I don't think anybody ever doubted uh, Coach Leo's stature in the team. Diba? Now, fast forward to this uh, Governor's Cup and look what happened. Diba? I think I can say na For a long time, Coach Leo hasn't enjoyed the full support of uh, pagdating sa San Miguel Manch. Nananalo siya, and yet, I don't think he gets the respect that he deserves sa, sa mga officials na San Miguel. Tawag nga sa kanya minsan, parang tawag sa kanya, boy swerte. So, he was, they, were, they were short of saying na uh, this guy isn't, isn't Read the good but uh, plain lucky. And I think that's a uh, disrespect to Coach Lee. Ang mahirap dito, you put in George Galen. We all, we know George is capable, di ba? Pero, where will this take you? Where will this take you? Is George someone who can lead the team to a championship? Uh, right now, we, we have to see, di ba? But remember, the last time na may ganyang major coaching change sa San Miguel, There was no question that uh, San Miguel was right. You know what? Nung pinalitan si Norman Black. Pinalitan si Norman Black, he was a Grand Slam champion. Pero, nung pinalitan siya, wala na question kasi pumalit sa kanya si Ron Jacobs. Sipin mo, palapapalitan mo isang mo like Coach Norman, pero mamimitigate yung mga questions because you're you're putting in someone like Ron Jacobs who's a legend in coaching. So, no question there. Ngayon, you replace someone with who has won nine championships. 10 nga pag sinamo pa yung pinanalo niya sa ABL for San Miguel, di ba? You're replacing someone who's a three-time coach of the year. You're replacing someone who, who whose track record sa San Miguel is really ano, spotless. Yes, of course, may, may mga close every now and then pagdating sa X and O's, pagdating sa rotation. So, there's no doubt that uh, Coach Leo deserves to stay and Coach Leo deserves another track at least. Ang problema dyan, I think San Miguel is playing with fire here because hindi mo naman pinalitan si Leo with a with a better coach. You re, you replace him with someone na na wala ng track record except for uh, championship or two with happy this uh, PBL. You're replacing Coach Leo with someone with no track record. So now let's see. But I think uh, San Miguel is playing with fire in the, in the decision. It's a bold decision, but uh, I don't know. Let's, It remains to be seen if it will, uh, it will work out or it will blow up in their faces. That we have to see.